This is the new SV225 alt-azimuth manual mount from Zvirboni. They just launched this around Thanksgiving for their Black Friday sale, and obviously I purchased one. So let me tell you about it. Thanks for joining me on Astrophotography Japan. To begin with, I was a bit surprised at the size of the box. I was expecting something about half that size. But as you can see, the foam packing was exceptional, providing excellent protection of the beautiful glossy finish of the product. My initial thoughts were that the mount was more massive than I anticipated, which turned out to be a good thing since it suggested strength and stability and value. Overall, the mount weighs about 2.3 kilograms and is made from T6 heat-tempered high-grade corrosion-resistant aluminum alloy. So this is the base piece of my SV225 Alt-As mount. And you can see on the bottom here, there's a 3 8 inch hole for accepting a screw from a tripod. Now, I have this tripod that's got a removable flat plate like this which will fit securely into that hole um, but the problem is this is metal on metal and so what I've done is I've devised a little bit of a rubber gasket here which I'll place on there and then I can screw this in and actually get a good grip uh, to the base plate so that it doesn't slide around and once I have that on there then I can then secure it on the bottom with this screw here and now that's really not going anywhere so when I first saw this I was a little concerned that you had to take this apart and assemble it each time if you wanted to sort of move the position of this and I was worried that it might have some ability to slip but as you can see from the design of it that there's a hexagonal, no, that's actually octagonal pattern here on this uh, fitting and here on this so that it can actually only attach in a um, completely parallel to the ground 45 degrees or vertical fashion. Now of course we're going to be wanting to using this at 45 degrees like that. And then there's really only one screw uh, and this is a humongous screw. It's actually M8 in size. It's got a little washer and then this goes in here and they give you this M8 giant size Allen wrench here which allows you to screw it in and when this is in there, with all the way that it's designed, there's no way it's ever going to slip with your telescope. It's going to be solidly connected in that orientation. And I believe this is designed to really go in one direction. And that being positioned such that this head is on the right hand side and the clamp uh, is clamping your telescope coming in this direction here. And the reason I say that is because there's a marking here that shows you uh, kind of the level point. And that marking should be equivalent to zero uh, for altitude on this black, um, this black ring here. In the photo you can see that the black ring with degree markings is not aligned to the proper altitude level zero degrees setting. Unfortunately, the black ring is locked tight with some extremely small, what appear to be Allen screws, and no tool was provided in the box by Zerboni. Unfortunately, I don't know what size are the screws or head shape, and hence I have no way to loosen them to rotate the ring to the proper setting. This feature would be nice to have and use for roughly judging sky coordinates. It would be appreciated if someone from Zerboni would comment about adjusting these rings 
on Facebook. Um, now you can actually do it in the other direction if you want to by flipping this like this uh, and then flipping down the clamp like that. So it is possible to do it that way, but the mark is over here and then you won't have that mark here. Another thing is that there's a hole here that I'll show you in a few moments and what that's for. And that's basically for a bar that allows you to move this around. And that bar won't be pointing in the right direction if you put it like this. So I advise you to look closely at the way that you assemble this. And you may want to position this in a specific orientation that allows you to have this marking to look at for the altitude zero mark, allows you to have the clamps on top and um, this hole for the bar actually at the bottom. So there's a couple different configurations or way you can set this up, but I think this is the best way to do it. Now let's look at the Vixen clamp here for securing your telescope. And you can see this is of the same sort of uh, hard, white, painted, beautiful finish that the rest of this Alt-As mount is covered by. And it's held in here very securely. There's at least six screws here that are holding it very tightly uh, onto the mount. You can take those screws off and you can remove this clamp. And if this clamp is something that doesn't appeal to you, you could actually replace it with something that you might like better. Originally, I thought I might do that because I don't particularly like these sort of rounded edged screws here that bite into your dovetail bar. But as it turns out, this is quite wide and it's got these two stabilizing screws on either side. And these things do a good job uh, of holding it very secure even when you don't crank these down. So just uh, reasonably tight and it holds the telescope very well. Next we're going to need to attach a few accessories here like these slow motion movement knobs that are for the azimuth and the altitude. And actually, there was a lot of thought that was put into the design of these things. First of all, what I like about it is you can attach it by hand. You don't need to have a screwdriver in order to tighten this down. You just put it on there, finger tighten it, and it's ready to go. Same thing over here. And it's easy to see the grooved or the notched area that you secure this to. Uh, these acceptance, golden acceptance not, uh, protrusions here have a really deep cut in it and a very flat area that it will securely hold and very easy to find. You can even probably do this in the dark by just feeling it with your fingertips. So it's a really nice design as far as the connection points on these things. The next thing I wanted to show you is this bar. So this bar screws into the hole that I described earlier and it's for moving your telescope around quickly. Now you'll notice when I put this in here, that little bit of extra weight, it starts to slip down. Well that's because each one of these uh, directions, the azimuth or the altitude, actually has a clutch. And I haven't put in this clutch screw here at the top, so let me put that in now. And it's another nice design of this is that these clutches really make it easy uh, to, to engage and disengage and move it around quickly. Now it's secure and it's not going anywhere. But you can still operate it in an altitude up and down direction. Now, originally, this was interfering with this uh, knob, and it was a problem, but if you just loosen this screw up at the top and take the screw out, you can reposition this, uh, uh, this overhang here to move it out of the way 
and now when it's tightly secure, it's not interfering anymore. So, I think we've got all the bits and pieces assembled now, and uh, that's the way it looks. So here is my SV48P telescope from Zviboni. And let me show you how to put this together now. So this clamp, as I mentioned earlier, is positioned in a way that the upwardly slanted area uh, of the clamp head here is on the bottom. So I can basically put my dovetail in there and just rest it. And then I can screw down these screws on the top to hold it into place. Doing the central one first and then the two side bolts after that. And it really doesn't require a lot of pressure uh, to hold it firmly into place. So there you have it. Here is my complete visual astronomy setup. You can see I've got my SV48P telescope, also from Sviboni. I've got a laser finder here and a finder scope that uh, I bought off of AliExpress. It comes from a company called Leda Optics. Uh, I like it because it has this really nice little Crayford focuser. And then I'm using a Stellaview prism diagonal here, uh, which has a fine focuser at the... Uh, eyepiece which is kind of nice so I can get some nice focus and views from this and this entire setup as I mentioned looks fairly heavy uh, it's over six kilograms but with a 10 kilogram capacity this handles it very easily and you can see I can release these clutches here and very easily move this around and it remains quite stable now the reason this is staying balanced like this is because essentially that's what I did. I balanced the scope over the top of this dovetail uh, clamp here such that uh, it's got equal weight distribution. Now if you don't do that um, and you release the clutch, it can dip forward. It does so at a fairly slow rate, but it can contact with the mount here and either scratch or damage your scope or likewise could do some damage going backwards as well so it's very important to always keep your hand on this bar here when you're releasing especially the altitude uh, clutch now the other thing that I did here is that I use the focus rotator here to move the focus uh, knob a little bit downward here to get it away from the bar and the SV48P has uh, that particular feature that allows you to do that which is very nice so now it's not my hand won't be interfered with by this bar so that, that's very nice these fine focus or I should say fine uh, movement bars here on the uh, alt as mount are very nice they have a kind of a, a nice amount of resistance and it feels very fluid and smooth almost hydraulic like so I think there's some really good design in the movement features of this alt as mount I really like it The only other thing to say is that this is uh, a very nice mount. It, um, I think it retails for about $140. A little bit more expensive, expensive than some similar models that you might see out there. But I'm not sure those other models have all these little tiny little features that make this uh, more convenient, including this, this movement bar here for your hand and the design of some of these uh, uh, securing uh, screws and things like that. It's also a very nice finish. But you really need to have it on a stable tripod. This tripod uh, I bought uh, on AliExpress 
which is uh, G-Hope, let's see what it says there, uh, G-Hope B560C. It has a 30 kilogram capacity. It's got a 75 millimeter base here uh, at the top, which is almost exactly the same as uh, this uh, base of the SV-225 uh, alt as mount. So it's literally a perfect size. And with this tripod and uh, this mount, I feel this is extremely secure and you're not really going to get even much vibration from the wind with this. So I'm looking forward to using this in the night skies as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me at Astrophotography Japan. I hope you found this review of the Zerboni SV-225 alt mount useful. Um, my recommendation? Thumbs up. I think it's a good product. <laughs>